Hi, everyone. In this interview, I speak with Victor Yang, who's the chief scientific officer of 7D Surgical. We discuss the importance of tech adoption for Canada's manufacturing SMEs, the long-term investments needed to boost high-tech manufacturing in Canada, and what his pitch is for how Canada can become a leader in high-tech manufacturing. Enjoy. I'm Victor Yang. I'm a neurosurgeon, engineer, and innovator. Well, hi, Victor. Thank you so much for joining us today and for taking the time to speak with TFE. Um, I'd like to ask you to please briefly uh, describe your company, 7D Surgical, and what it does. Well, it's a pleasure to be on this interview. Um, 7D Surgical is a high-tech uh, manufacturer uh, in Toronto, and we make machine vision surgical and navigation systems. So more precisely, it's a structured light imaging system that help surgeons deliver better care to patients. Um, we are recently acquired by C-Spine, a NASDAQ listed uh, company, and uh, we are in the spinal implant and now also biologic business. Well, great. And as you described, uh, you are a high-tech manufacturer as well. Uh, I'd like to know, in your experience through the, 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 the idea, development, scale-up phases of 7D Surgical, what were the positives and negatives of designing and manufacturing a high-tech product in Canada? And if you can, um, what do you think has to be done to improve that process or our success within it? I think in Canada, we have extremely talented pool of innovators, engineers who can really take the conceptual designs through the prototyping, performance testing, and into production devices with relatively few resources, I think. So that's the positive. On the flip side is that we cannot become too complacent and fail to recognize that the strength you know, comes from this determined, coordinated, long-term investment is needed in the country's education and the R&D infrastructure. That's what we lack, I think. We need support for laboratories. We need support for taking innovations from laboratories into small-scale production, from small-scale production into um, testing, especially in health and the medical devices world, into clinical trials and move it through the different stages of maturation of the product lifecycle and eventually getting to the big world stage for marketing and the service and support after that. From the perspective of a high-tech manufacturer in Canada, um, how do you see or characterize the importance of digitization and tech adoption uh, for Canada's manufacturing SMEs? Um, do you think there's anything that can be done to encourage and support uh, tech adoption with those uh, groups of companies? So for us, it actually spreads even beyond the, the manufacturing portion of it. If we if we look at manufacturing, but certainly leading towards manufacturing, we have the, the, the initial R&D and the prototyping stage of that. And the, before the R&D and prototyping, there's a conceptual stage. And the, before the conceptual stage is what is the product? What is the service? What we are really trying to help? In our mind, in our particular business here, we believe surgery itself needs digitization, needs technology adoption. Surgery needs to be standardized. The medical procedure needs to be standardized, needs to be digitized. And the digitization I see is a key tool towards standardization. So we move away from the carpentry era of surgery and the medical procedure that requires individual mastery of the process rather than we can move it towards industrialization of it because we digitize it, we standardize it so we can mass produce the effect of surgery or, or procedural-based healthcare. I think that's what's needed. And that's also what drives the price down, drives the, drives the cost down for healthcare. I think what the, the key factor here is actually digitization and the tech adoption really helps us to maximize uh, productivity and also increases our probability for export. Let's face it, face it, the, the Canadian economy needs to 
export. We just don't have the population base to, to, to digest all the productivity that we can have in this country. And we're in an increasingly connected global economy. So digitization and the tech adoption with exportation will really break down the barriers for market entry. I mean, Canadian SMEs uh, really represent the vast majority of our exportation. And that's why, as I was saying, that official support in these directions can help our economy. From your perspective as a, a Canadian surgeon, a Canadian engineer, a Canadian innovator, how do you think Canada ranks in terms of uh, how far along we are in that process? And also uh, our strengths in terms of uh, putting the building blocks together to enabling that process? I would say in certain segments, we are doing extremely well. For like for, 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 for Toronto, for Ontario, for Canada, for its size, we are putting out a lot of um, high-tech healthcare products. And they are really made by these small companies, startup companies in Canada. The effect could be so much more if we can amplify their success, if we have the capital to feed them, to let them scale up so, so, so we don't have to you know, move out of the Canadian ecosystem. Do you think there's a, there's a day somewhere close on, to, on the horizon where our ecosystem will be able to provide everything that those companies need to actually flourish? Self-sufficiency depends on how we define that. If we, are, if we mean that by the consumer base from our population, then I don't think we are starting in the right direction. If we are starting that direction as Canada wants to be a global leader in that niche area and uh, being free and open to a diverse source of capital to feed into this segment, then I think we do have a future. Victor, you've already given us so much, but I want to give you 30 seconds for a pitch, an elevator pitch to someone, anyone or an organization uh, that you consider ha has the power to make Canada a leader in global uh, high-tech manufacturing. Uh, I'd like to know who you'd pitch and, of course, what you would urge them to do now. I think it will be pitching to the Prime Minister. I think it will be pitching... We'll be pitching multiculturalism. I think deep down Canadians are more acceptable to differences than others. And we need to imprint this in the DNA of our future engineers and generations of every, everybody. This is perhaps our singular strength in becoming a leader in manufacturing, in R&D, in trade, and in, in any aspect of global affairs. Like we were the first country to adopt this official policy and the strength of this policy rests with the perseverance. <laughs>